All right, there's a new kid's toy out that is quickly becoming controversial. It's because Amazon's Alexa is a feature in the Play Kitchen. She will cook with your kids, explain recipes, all at the cost of $300. Our tech expert, Mike Yanni, joins us to talk a little bit more about that. Uh, good morning, Mike. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. And yourself? I can't complain. Uh, there's, a, there's good and bad with this, right? There is. This is interesting. So it's a company called Kidscraft. They actually just unveiled this new toy at the uh, New York Toy Fair just this earlier this week. Uh, so interesting. It looks like a normal play set. It's got a market so the kids can go shopping and then they can obviously cook on the other side. But as you mentioned, what's interesting, the new twist on this, the high tech twist, is that Alexa is built in. So mm -hmm. apparently Alexa will chat with your kids back and forth. Uh, Alexa will say some dad jokes, walk <laughs> them through hey, how to cook. Territory. Um, and yeah, but the question is, do we want to introduce young kids at such a young age into the AI and smart Smart speaker era. Uh, it's tough because the reality yeah. is it's there, and they're going to be growing up. I, I would assume they're going to be growing up with AI. I mean, well, it it's will, true. It right? would be one it, of the norms for them. And chances are their parents already have a smart speaker in the house. But some people are saying, "Come on!" I mean, you're pushing it a little bit more, and because it is specifically marketed towards Amazon as well, you know, a little bit marketing at play there. Absolutely, but everything's marketing. But it is. It, it truly is. And you, you're saying $300. Yep, 300 U.S. So that's going to be about 400 Canadian. The one question that hasn't been answered, though, is Alexa actually going to be the full-blown version where mm -hmm. you, the kids can actually ask things and it'll search online? Or is it going to be kind of a, a dummy-down, simpler version that's, that's not always connected? Yeah, and that's what I would want to see, you know, it, where yeah. you have some pretty tight parameters on what it can answer. Exactly. It'll be interesting to see uh, when it launches in the fall. All right. Also, uh, and the name is eluding me right now, but the facial recognition, the, the photo oh. recognition. This, this is, story uh, back is in not the news. going. Yeah, yeah, it's not going anywhere. We talked about this one or two weeks ago. It's called Clearview AI. That's the idea it, is, you. Roger, you lift up your smartphone, you snap a picture of a stranger on the streets, and it's able to bring up their identity, their age, their address, all their personal information. How it works is it scrapes photos from YouTube, from Venmo, from all these online services, Facebook as well. Mm -hmm. If it finds a match, then it brings in that person's profile and it brings it up for you. It's being used in the States by about 600 police agencies. Turns out Toronto police have been using yeah, it. Yeah, we did a story on this uh, yeah. a few weeks ago. Yeah, so they've stopped using it now, but now the privacy commissioner is stepping in, and as well as ombudsmen in BC, Alberta, and Quebec, they are saying Clearview AI is not legally, you can't use it in Canada, because it's, it's different. The, the laws about what goes on the information on the internet and what's public and what's private is different from the Canada and the US. Yeah. In the States, under First Amendment, companies can scrape that data and use it freely. In Canada, apparently, according to privacy laws, you need to get that person's consent to use the information that is pulled online. So they're saying that it does, it cannot be used that's, here in Canada. Well, that's good to it's know. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Yeah, but it, it is nice to know we have some of those privacy laws, which is ironic, really. You would have thought the Americans would have uh, tighter privacy laws than us. But uh, I know. I, I thought the I'm exact glad same for that. Thing. And I mean, yeah. I'm a public figure. It's you know, we're both public figures. We're, our, our whole story is out there. But for other people, though, who want their privacy. The, the idea that someone could take your picture and figure out who you are without ever having to ask you. The consequences for stalking and for many yeah, other things, absolutely it, it's huge, it's huge. I know we're almost out of time, Roger, yeah. but i got to quickly mention, uh, remember uh, last week we had the uh, Z Flip yeah. from Samsung? The you still have it, phone. I noticed. You're not giving it up, it's, are you? Uh, you still have it, still have it. Uh, you know what? Sold out in one day in Canada. You and I were talking about, will this take off? Is this the next big thing? Apparently Canadians were ravenous for another smartphone with a folding screen. I've been playing around with it for uh, just over a week now. I've got to say, I'm... I'm I'm pretty impressed with it. It's, uh -huh. it's a pretty slick device. Well, there you go. It's going to be sold out yeah. for a while then with that, uh, with your endorsement. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, new shipments come in Friday of, of this week. So if you're looking for one, here's your chance. And of All course, right. Rogers, our parent company, is carrying it. Beautiful, Mike. Thank you very much, sir. Have yourself a great Thank day. Thank you. We've got more on BT coming up after the break.